Hi guys, it's the Wilinski, and today I've got another GTA video for you guys. I know how much you love them. I'm joking. But uh, best way to spend 250k, and we are going to be showcasing this episode the Vapid Sand King XL off road. Uh, it is rather large, as you can see. And um, it's pink and blue. No, it doesn't come pink and blue. That's just what I've done to it to make it look all soft and cuddly. Make it look like um, it's not so in your face when it actually is. Because if you see one of these coming towards you and you're on the road, it's going to run you over if I'm driving it. That is, but maybe not if somebody else is. Because it's so big that it could just run everything over. So here are the uh, customizations you can put on it. You can put loads of cool stuff on it. Don't put that on it because it uh, removes the ability to run things over because it makes the front lower so you can't get over the top of them. And the suspension lower lowering is so pointless because that ruins the fun because that means you can't run anything over. That's the whole point of having a massive freaking truck. Uh, you can buy loads of other stuff that's not really useful. A turbo just makes it go faster obviously and it's not really that helpful because it's so heavy it doesn't really do much so yeah I decided to paint mine pink and blue with blue wheels as you can see because I'm just the coolest kid in town and uh, now we're going to take it for a spin around the town now uh, I'm, very, 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 I'm very aware that the first 250k hasn't come through yet and um, I'm a bit pissed off about that because they said it would come last week I've been waiting for like two weeks for this 250k I just stopped here to see if the woman took a photo of my car but she didn't so I just drove off again because I looked like a bit of an idiot and um, we've been waiting for a while for that and we still haven't got it and there's no sign of when we're going to get it they're just doing loads of updates and stuff they, they made promises that they didn't keep to they're not doing a very good job in my opinion of um, keeping the community happy because uh, although they did apologise for all the crap that happened, they haven't still haven't given out the compensation when they said they would. So it just runs everything over like a bouth. And I'm a bit annoyed about that because I need to get the money so I can carry on doing this series because I need some other stuff. I've, I've got like another three episodes I can do, but after that I don't really have anything else that I can base an episode round after I because obviously I need to get the 250k by then hopefully sorry the recording went a bit bad there hopefully we'll get it by the end of this week they said this month and today's the last day this month so I'm not really sure what they're planning there and uh, I still haven't come through and it hasn't any nothing's popped up on the newswire on the website unfortunately but if it does I will do a video and let you guys know that the 250k is now available uh, I don't know I think I'll probably put that on my second channel so if you want to go subscribe to my second channel the links always in the description and uh, there I just upload random crap I hardly ever upload actually so it's probably not worth you subscribing to it to be honest <laughs> but um, yeah so this truck back to this this truck is very good you find it up in sandy chores and you just steal it and take it to a customs and um, that's pretty much it, yeah, to get one, or you can buy one if you can't find one like Ben. There's two different types of Sand King, one of them's the XL, and one of them's like a something else, which only has two doors, and the XL has four doors, and it's bigger and tankier. So if you find the other one, it's not really that much of a problem, but if you could get the XL one, I would recommend it over the other one, uh, because it is bigger. Now, um, it just takes the terrain. You could throw like a friggin' vertical hill at it and you go up it with speed it'll just deal with it. Look how steep this hill is and it just goes straight up and over the top. It's just like so tanky and it's really good because if you go off a very high jump that you would think the suspension would break and crap and everything would go wrong but it doesn't. It all holds together some magical powers that it has in it from GTA and it all holds together so sorry about changing the radio there it's just that friggin Mexican one it was really annoying and so yeah I just landed straight on some uh, stone it just deals with it, it just drives off and carries on so yeah that's pretty much it from this episode so my name's been the Wudinski if you've enjoyed you can leave a like or maybe even subscribe and um, I know there's a question everybody's asking about this uh, truck and is that and that is um, Wudinski does that truck fit in a train and I can confirm Yes, it does. <laughs> me and Tom were just messing around yesterday, and Tom was trying to get in the train, and I was already in it, and then he blew me up. So, fun story, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.